Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something sick. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then her child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more. Started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel light. Like, you know what you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. So you have a part that you'd like to start with? Yeah, so <clears throat> I've been noticing in like the pit of my stomach throughout the week, there's been this part that's just been persistent and at times it'll be louder or sometimes you know diminish but it's a part that feels like uh like disappointment at myself mm -hmm. and um and that's the part i wanted to explore today for sure okay all right well um yeah keep yeah. focusing on that and just see what other sensations come up that you notice about it So it's, yeah, it's heavily concentrated, like, below my diaphragm into my stomach. It feels like a, like, tense or kind of like a crushing, um, mm. but constant. And it definitely feels like there's something that it's trying to, like, either get me to move or to do. And it feels like disappointment. Um, and it's very behind the scenes and very vague okay. um yeah and how do you feel towards it as you notice it there for the most part i don't want to feel this way mm -hmm. um it's not that i dislike the part uh, i I don't, you know, I don't enjoy having it there, I want to say, uh, just for the fact that it just makes me feel bad. Yeah. Like I'm doing something bad. Yeah. Okay. So it makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. And what's your level of curiosity towards getting to know it? I definitely want to get to know it for sure. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll see if you can turn towards it, deepen your access in any way. Let it know that you'd like to get to know it and invite it to talk with you and just see how it reacts to that. Okay. It feels like it's almost like on automatic, 
like the like the part is functioning on automatic so when i'm trying to like connect with it to approach it it's like it it feels like a machine like it's like doing its job ignoring me yeah. <laughs> um yeah and just pr- supplying this persistent uncomfortable feeling yeah it's interesting you could ask it what that job is about why it, why it does that job or what it wants you to know about that job? It has definite like angst towards me and it's kind of suggesting that because I'm not accomplishing the things that I want to, or I, I want to accomplish, or have become the person that I that I I guess I should become, according to this part, mm-hmm. that it has to remind me, like it has to be present, so that I don't forget that. Yeah. Does that resonate with you? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that that makes sense to you. And maybe ask what it's afraid would happen if it doesn't get your attention that way. Okay. I feel like this part, I think it might be defending like another part because it's like bringing up like images of like when I was 10, like trauma that happened when I was 10. Like my dad was in, I don't mind sharing, my dad was incarcerated at that time. Mm -hmm. And so it's bringing up like the image of that version of me. Yeah. And it's like, we don't want to end up in the situation where we're caught off guard again. Like we don't want to end up kind of protecting yeah. Me from feeling that way again. Yeah. Okay. So you recognize that it's protective role? Yeah. Okay. See if you can just show it some appreciation for that. Okay. Okay. It's more receptive. Yeah, you can yeah. just ask if there's anything else it wants to show you or let you know about. It feels like it's working like overtime to try to make me not forget, uh, you know, goals I want to accomplish, uh, things I said I would, um, becoming the, you know, person I, I think I should be, and it's it's almost like if I feel like I need to take a break, it's like no, you can't take a break. You get you don't deserve that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just, it, it thinks I'm kind of being lazy in a way. Like I'm not putting my best foot forward when it comes to goals I want to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you could change that, or if it is a, if it is a 10 year old that it is thinking you are, if you could heal that part of you. Mm-hmm. What would it rather be doing with its energy inside of you? Okay. (sighs) 
So this this part just wants like more, um, like it wants balance. It, I don't think it wants to work that hard. If it could prefer to do anything, I I see more. Um, like I feel like this part feels overstressed, and it like I saw like more meditation. Like I saw like a vision of like meditation or like putting its mind to like a um, in one direction or one goal versus maybe like the multiple mm -hmm. that I have going on. Like it just wants more balance. I think um, it wants to feel more balanced. I think that it likes feeling productive, mm -hmm. but just maybe more on one thing. Cause I, I, I am the kind of person who like takes on a lot of things at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, how old does it think you are? Hmm. It sees me as an adult, but I think it sees me as an incompetent adult. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so it sees me as my age, but it just thinks that I'm like like 20 going on 30 kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you can, you know, normally I would say update it on your age, but you might just update it on maybe some of your competencies, but you also might just say, Hey, yeah, you know, uh, I screw some things up and I appreciate you looking out for that. Okay. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I understand that you'll make mistakes, but like, why? I mean, I, I, I don't think it's happy with its role. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, why do I have to? Why do I have to do this, or, or you know, be the one to like your your safety net, or to constantly remind you to to do better, kind of right. thing. Right. Yeah. Well, you could ask it. Um... What does it need from you in the future to to not have to do that so much? Okay. It just wants like simplicity. It it really just wants me to focus on one thing and do it very well. Um so what I I can do is just develop a, a, a more structure, I guess, in just the activities of my life, and um, you know, just uh, re reprioritize the most important and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And is there a way that you can? Is there an agreement to make with it around doing that or like let me see something something you want to get on the calendar let me see It really wants me to like, I guess, like emotionally balance. And I think that I've, do, I've been doing a lot more maybe like physical, um, like physical product, productivity, like, you know, lots of tasks that mm -hmm. keep me productive. But um, I think this part is really pushing for me to like emotionally balance just because you know i've had a lot of events happen to me recently yeah and i just kind of keep moving past them mm -hmm. without really processing any of them yeah yeah i think it's pushing for that direction of like some emotional attention mm -hmm. and is it clear like what that looks like for you okay I 
I think um, kind of routinely developing good habits that will keep um, me like emotionally happy and fulfilled. Um, like I used to do tapping like EFT. Mm-hmm. That's something I haven't done in a long time. And that's something that came to mind. Um, journaling is something that I should be doing a lot more of. Um, that's another example or like meditation, you know, that that's, it's been a while since I've taken it very, very seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really pointing to those kind of activities first to like schedule them as a routine. So like waking up and doing, you know, a minute of EFT kind of thing yeah. or yeah, like building it into my schedule as habits. Like I brush my teeth. That's great. Yeah. Are there other um, parts that are coming up and conflicting with that? Or are there, when you think about, emo- when it thinks about emotional balance, are there other parts that are, that need your mm-hmm. attention um, to help with that? Or that you could help in order to feel more emotionally balanced? I do, I do sense like that part that it's kind of protecting. Mm-hmm. Um, which is, you know, that 10 year old that yeah. I, you know, in thinking back to that memory, I like, like my dad was arrested and I watched him get arrested and mm-hmm. I just like continued on. Like I went to school the next day and like nothing happened. Like it's, you know, and I never saw him again, yeah. like from one day to another. And so I just never thought about it. And that part has been surfacing. And I think that to like protect me from that, this part is like, Hey, let's, Let's get on track. Let's uh, let's form a plan. Let's, you know. Yeah. You and know why do I have to remind you to be an adult? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what would you and that part think about um, going to talk to that 10-year-old now? I, 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 let me see. Or any other parts that would have concerns about that? I think, uh, like, I I would like to, at least from my standpoint, I have curiosity towards that part. Um, and then the the protective part is, I think that they're okay with it. I think that this is kind of like what they want. Yeah. I think that's part of what they want. Be part of emotional balance. Yeah. Okay, well, thank that part, and um, yeah, yeah. If you if you want, if you're able to see if you can turn your attention to okay that other that other part, whether it's ten years old or whatever comes up when you have those those memories. Okay. So I sense a lot of like sadness from this part. It's definitely like a like a younger part that's lost. And it's like centered in my throat more than anything. Like my throat feels like it's closing. And it I just sense a very like it's sad. Yeah. Um and it's just a very very just like like lost, but not asking to be found. Like it's used to being lost. Yeah. And how do you feel when you see or or sense that part in its situation? How do you feel towards it? Like I feel, I feel sorry for it. Like compassion. Like I feel sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See if you can show it that compassion. Let it know you'd like to help it out, get to know it. It's it's interesting because I'm you know in, in in kind of speaking to this part, it's not used to being acknowledged. Yeah. 
so it's like, what? You're you're talking to me? Really? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's an exile. You could ask if it if it feels like you understand its pain. Mm. Okay. It's a, it doesn't think that anybody can understand because it, it holds so much pain. It yeah. doesn't feel like anybody, including myself, understands how much it's holding. Yeah. And how and what's your response to that? I understand. Like it's been it's been a long time and I just like left it with that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I just totally just left it left it with that and like kept walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now are you are you feeling ready to to, to learn more about it or learn more about its pain? Yeah. Okay. So just let it know that. Let it know that you know that you are that you see that you maybe kept walking and but now you're you're ready to uh-huh. learn more about it. Okay. I let it, I let it know. It feels like this part is like very tired. Yeah. Like it's very like, um, like indifferent, very tired, very indifferent, like very worn down by the pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just sense the pain. So it's like, it just brings tears to my eyes. Yeah. And you okay with that? Yeah. 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 Let it know that you're okay with it just showing up in the way that it's showing up and that you can handle those sensations. It's it's saying that it doesn't want to make me sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And my heart hurts with that one. Yeah. Just let, him, let this part know that you really want to get it. It almost like doesn't know how to let go of the pain. Yeah, well, maybe we can help. Yeah. And that's okay. You know, if we don't have all the answers, it's okay too. Like, yeah. If, if all, if all we can do is witness it and come to understand it that way, then that's a good, that's a good first step. Yeah. this part how does it feel like does it trust that you care about it let me see so this I think the primary part uh, like the the primary part of this part the primary um, uh, I guess challenge of this part is that it it feels so like isolated and alone and like so abandoned that I don't know if it necessarily um, like recognizes when it's mm-hmm. when it's like not alone. Yeah. So when I'm saying I'm like, you know, I'm with you and all of that, it's um, like it's very foreign to it. Yeah. Yeah. Just do what you can to really show it. Okay. And you know that might mean getting closer to it, 
holding out your hand, offering a hug, those kind of things. And it's, again, it's okay if it doesn't immediately embrace all of that. Just just try to show it who you are and, and what you'd like to do for it. Hmm. I, I kind of like, a, like I outstretch a hand and, you know, I just let it know that, you know, like no one can kind of replace what you lost, but that like we do survive this, <laughs> you know, yeah. and me as my, my 30 year old self, I'm like, we do survive this. We are here. And she's like, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're, yeah. you know, it had its heart broken, but like your heart's working and you can, and you can love it. Yeah. So it's asking, like, what do I do with all, like, this pain, this hurt? Okay. It's, it's curious as to what happened. What, do, what does it do with this? Yeah. Just knowing that in the future, it's going to be okay. <laughs> well, um, you know, I, I think that parts, they it, it's going to stay that age. It's, and so I think our yeah. goal is to help it in its time. And one way you can do that is you can go back into its time period to be with the part in a way that it needed somebody. Mm. And so you can just do that now. Okay. You can ask it if there's any way that, if there's anything that you can do for it back in that time. Yeah. Anybody that it needs you to talk to or change about the situation. Okay, let me try. <sighs> so I like kind of like accompanied it back to like, like that moment. And as myself, I'm just kind of like talking to her and just letting her know that you know, none of this is like a reflection of her right. or anything that she did. Right. Just that moment where she was, you know, like, um, you know, seeing all this happen. And she, in in real life, I just watched and went back to my room like yeah. nothing happened. Totally like dissociated from the situation. And then in in this memory that I'm walking back with her, she's letting it out crying 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 yeah. actually letting it out i'm crying yeah. <laughs> as a product of it um but yeah just very power just a lot of, i understand this part a lot of pain yeah that it just didn't ever release i want right, to say it didn't have anyone to share it with and now it, now it does yeah <sighs> so you can just let her keep doing that with you Again, if there's anything that she'd like for you to do for her in that scene, besides be there for her, I mean, that might be all. Yeah. It's funny because I know my role now. Um, so I've kind of like taken her back to the room. I'm letting her kind of like lay on me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she cries. She's yeah. not alone. And I'm and I'm having to and I'm realizing as my adult self, I have to help her grieve because she doesn't want to grieve. And to be honest, neither do I. Hey, you, you, you two are doing it. You two are doing it right now. You're doing it. <laughs> oh. And this is okay. something you you can continue doing for her from now on. She has you to go yeah. to. And yeah, you don't need any textbook to follow to do this. Yeah, I'm getting the impression that's all she needs. Like she just needs someone to help her grieve. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that she knew how to verbalize that at all. No. Um, yeah.
you could offer to take her somewhere else out of that place if she'd like to come with you okay or to a fantasy place or wherever she'd like so i kind of like took her and now it's like just like an open air like grassy field sunny day and just getting some air outside yeah and she's just having some trouble like uh like the change of scenery doesn't help her as much as i i thought it okay, would well, like she just yeah, kind just, of falls to her knees and cries that's you know <laughs> it's, it's her choice um, yeah and yeah she's not ready to leave or or anything that's okay Just ask her where she would like to, where she would like to be with you. Right okay. I feel like, um, like in my childhood, I didn't, I didn't get a lot of a good chance to do like a lot of like childlike things. Mm -hmm. And so when I kind of try to sense what it is that it needs or would make it happy, it brings me to like, even though it's still sad, it brings me to like a water park or something. Yeah. <laughs> it brings me to, to somewhere fun that it didn't get to go. Great. Yeah. Yeah, you can go there. Yeah, I think that's helped it. Yeah. Just let her know that she has she has you to go to when she's when she wants to cry or be held. She has this water park to go to when she wants to do water park things. She doesn't have to go back. Yeah. Okay. And then if she's ready, you could ask if she'd like to try unloading those feelings and ask where she's carrying them in her body. Okay. Yeah, so we're at the the water park in my mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of like laying underneath like an umbrella and like I've gotten her drink i got her something to eat i got her cool sunglasses i got her cool towel she's like chilling and <laughs> i think now is a good time you know she feels uh distant enough from that incident i think to process it yeah yeah so let me see yeah if there's any if there's anywhere in her body that she'd like to that she has feelings she'd like to unload Okay. You know, it's interesting because like when I was sensing this part, I was sensing it in my throat and now this part is feeling like it just describes feeling so sad that it can't talk. Uh -huh. Like it can't even express itself, but it just feels that sad. Huh. And not to push the issue, but is, is that mm -hmm. something that she'd like to try to give up, give it, give it, give that up to light or wind or fire? Is there some way that she'd like to get that out? Okay, let me ask her. <laughs> it, 
it's almost so it's it's it expressed hesitation because it's it's like if I give up my pain, I'll forget my dad. Mm. Yeah. Like if I just give up what I'm feeling, I'm just going to forget about him. Mm -hmm. And. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We don't have to give any of the memories up. We just want to give up that that pain around it. I'm sorry, what was that? We just want to give up the pain around it. Not, oh, okay. not the memories themselves. Okay. It's willing to try. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that would be just thinking of a way to to kind of let those feelings out. Again, you might see them going out to, to light or fire or water um, or anything, any way that she could think of to to let it out. And then you helping okay. her do, do that until it's all out. Okay. Let me see. I think I'd like to probably do the air and let something out to the air. Um, yeah. Yeah, so just set that up with her and just encourage her to do that whichever way she can. Okay. Until it's all out. It wants it. It's kind of like um, so. I did the the air, and then um, it was kind of asking, but it's like you know, like in in memory of your dad. Can you like release like like for me as like modern me? Mm -hmm. She's like, can you can you do something where you like so that we don't forget? Can yeah. you do a ritual maybe every year where you release something out into water? Yeah. That's what she specifically asked for, yeah. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <sighs> How's she feeling now? Let me check in with her. Oh. She's better. I don't think she's as, um, she's not like breaking down crying. She seems more back, like up to neutral. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say she's like happy, but she's neutral. 
Yeah. Yeah. And she has someone to go to if, when she wants to cry. Yeah. You could ask if there are any qualities that she'd like to invite into her body. Okay. She's thinking of me and she's like, I just don't want to weigh you down. And so she just wants to almost be lighter, but for the purpose of not making me so sad. Yeah. And, you know, you've, she was exiled before you, she was already out of the picture and that it's not the goal, you know, the goal isn't to be, to be distant. So yeah, just let her know that you can handle her full presence. Okay. So I let it know, and then it let it let me know that it wants to f- it it wants to feel like um I want I want to say because it's been you know grieving and caring this mm-hmm. and it want it it wants to feel the qualities of what it's like to feel like whole of what it's like to like just be tent yeah. Yeah. You know, whatever that feels like. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's 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 the authority on on being ten. So, just just try to encourage <laughs> that. Try to encourage that in every way that you can. Okay. And if that feels like that's in a good place, you might want to. Um, <clears throat> invite, you know, that protector from earlier in to see, Mm -hmm. to see the work and to see the transformation. Okay. Like at 10, I feel like it wants to feel like accomplished. Like it showed me like baking cookies uh-huh. and, you know, just accomplishing things like making an art piece, baking cookies. Yeah. It just wants to create. And um, I invited the protector over and I got a feeling of satisfaction from them. Yeah. Yeah. Very different from like the disappointment that they had felt. You could ask that protector if it would like to, you know, just think about ways that it, roles that it might might like to have now. Um, if there's any other way that it would like to, to be. Mm, okay, this like the, as far as like the emotional balance kind of thing. Yeah. <clears throat> I think it, it wants me to just kind of like hold, um, like hold whatever uh, kind of like duties to this part. So like helping her to grieve, you know, um, 
helping her to understand, you know, if these feelings come up again, um, uh, the ritual that she specifically requested. Yeah. Um, yeah. Helping her bake cookies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. So, that's, I mean, does it feel complete? Does it is there more that these parts need from you? The the 10-year-old just wants to make sure I visit her again. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, they're both good. Yeah, you're going to do that, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I still check in with my six-year-old. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Well, thank you, Parts. Yeah. Thanks for sharing all that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I had, you know, I, I, that's, that's been in me and, you know, you just kind of go on autopilot and yeah. you just, so thank you so much for helping me to bring that out. Cause I feel like that's, yeah, that's, that's been there <laughs> Yeah, glad I could help. a long, long time. Yeah. I didn't expect it to go there. <laughs> that's great. Okay, well, hope to hear from you soon. We'll do it again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, have, yeah. All right. Have a beautiful Thank day. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. Right. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Zikri, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you. <laughs>